Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. This is Miracle Monster VG and we're back. Um, it still says the Stanley Parable 2, so I don't know if they're going to integrate more elements from whatever sequel we explored in the last playthrough, but anyways, let's get into it. I also switched my video to the other side in case I get an achievement, but it's, look at these achievements. These are crazy. So there's that test one that we can't do anything about. Uh, there's that one that I need to get. Click on the door 430 times. We're not doing that. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I must, my dyslexia is acting up. Click on door 435 times. Okay, I can do that. Let's see if we can find it. All right. I don't know what that is. Maybe. And then these are uh, <laughs> some of the more ridiculous ones. So um, maybe I will update you guys in 10 years if, you know, I quit playing <laughs> and I get this. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get into it. Oh. This co-workers were gone. What could it Three, be? four, five. Please. Are you really just doing this for the Hey! Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? You're the one who put the achievement there. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Well, what am I supposed to do? The door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Mm, I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction. You're getting on my nerves. Just get me the achievement. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes. This is the last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Whatever. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number four? I can't, I can't deal with you. Hey. Hey. You, the, um, you ain't going to I can. Well, I'll be home for like nine minutes. All right, bye. You ready? Bye. Well, I'll be back, I guess. Okay, so I am back from getting my car, and oh shit, oh god. Let's get back into it. So he said to do 20 clicks on 417. All right. Um. 416. Wait, hold up. Here we go. 5, 6, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 4. Oh please. my god. You're leading me on a wild goose chase and I don't like it. Wait, what the hell? Here we go. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Oh my god, you're getting on my nerves. I just want this achievement. All right, I think that one's over here. Now back to door number 437. I am being played for a fool right now. <laughs> Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, God. Uh... All right. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. Is that it? Yes! This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Oh, God. I think that's this way. 
We've almost got it. <laughs> now the copy machine do that one again. Okay. <laughs> You're screaming at me. Finish it up, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zip. Yes, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh wow. That felt amazing. Finally. Yeah, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Now I know. What were you thinking? Ugh. Whatever. All right. Let's see. When Stanley came to a set okay. of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps I'm wondering if I can jump off that little lift it. thing. Um, now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, so we're back over here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Um, key card. All right. Looks I want to get over there. We've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? <laughs> something do you have zero consideration for others no that danger everywhere something bad to happen to you why i don't know how to convince you of this but i really do want to help you to show you something beautiful uh-huh let me prove it let me prove that i'm on your side give me a chance i think you've had enough chances especially after you showed me that freaky thing that you made me to believe was my wife all right now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, here's an achievement. Found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. <laughs> Remember, no reward for collecting all of Got these. it. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. <laughs> you can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. All right. Well, I did it. Go me. What did he say to do? I don't know. Let's just go this way. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Uh, Stanley walked through the red door. Um. I still don't think we're communicating. <laughs> Stanley walked through. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. I'm going through the blue one. Oh, so badly, what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yes. Don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. Oh. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Oh, sure. You were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was Not really. Ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. <laughs> and in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skills? I don't know. I want some answers. Absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to <laughs> I'm looking for Um maybe if it had a better design, but a one? I mean I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one that's yes. really helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Do better. But I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. The Stanley Parable. Okay. There's like 
shit on the wall or the ceiling. All right. Um, am I supposed to go this way? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Not really. Honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. Okay. That would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Okay. Let me boot it up. Is he about to change this game again? In this game, uh <laughs> towards danger. What the fuck? The button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. Um, the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you? Hell no! To make sure it's that baby's gotta go. Sure to keep notes on your experience. I can't be here for four hours. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Listen, I wasn't about to play this game. It's not what I signed up for. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Fine. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Now what are we about to do? Stop! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stan? Is this what's fire? What is it? What's it called? <gasps> <laughs> The way I've played this on this channel. From up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. I'm like freaking out right yes, now. Um, did he know I played this game? Is, does he watch my channel? Everything about this game, Stanley, and it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. What in the fuck? Oh my god. We're back at the fucking Firewatch. Oh shit, I, I messed that up in the real game too. <laughs> this is messing with my head, you guys. Like, how did he know? Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Uh -huh. Oh God, quickly block it off. Oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You really wandered off into that that thing. Well, now where am I gonna go? Just wandering around, no right or wrong directions. I did get lost. Like, <laughs> I got lost so many times. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay. I think this will be just the thing. I wonder if it's going to be another game on my Switch. Oh, no. I've never played this game. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Is this Just Rocket League? <laughs> there isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stay I've never played this game before. This game, I will be phenomenally impressed. I don't know where I'm supposed to go though. Is this a hole? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. Uh huh. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. It's like we shall soccer run the or something. Touch down together. Yes. I don't I think play sports games. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh! 
I'm moving a lot faster now. All right. Wait, this is kind of fun. Get in there. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it yes. Of my miserable little story that I work so hard on. Uh huh. Stanley, I have a sword. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls make oh. <laughs> you euphoric sports experience. Okay. Did you try it out? Here comes another ball. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, um, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. Okay. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Get in there. All right. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Kind of. Having fun? Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. Damn. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Steph. Damn. Besides, you need you don't control me. to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since Ooh, what's over here? Didn't want to play my game, I guess I can't go. I not play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. Okay. You're an inventive kid. You're we'll come see up about that. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. So, let's see what happens if I jump down here. Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> Are we back at the office? Oh, oh my God! Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Um, How can you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that, Stanley. Come back. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Um, now where am I? This is scary. Uh-uh. What if something pops out from one of these corners? They don't got any lights in here. All right. Here we go. All right. I'm very confused. Can I do anything with here? Oh God. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I guess that wasn't so supposed to. What he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Yeah, world. where was I? I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs whatever. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Mm. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Okay. I can wait. Now what do I do? Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What is this? I don't remember that being. Figure finders committee. Well, I already found one. Wait. Where am I? Hold up. This isn't right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right. he entered the door on his left. Where did the music go? Perfect. Well, I already found one. Just... What was that? <laughs> okay, here we go. Inside of a sequel exhibit, a large room, lots of boxes, stairs, somewhere both red and blue, nearby a fireplace, a private but smelly place for an important person. All right, let's just go this way and see what we find. Oh! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Listen. I don't know why, but I need to click everything just to make sure. It was baffling that Stanley was Whatever. just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Whatever. Yes, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Fuck off. <laughs> All right. Um coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right. Here we go. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs. Oh, Stanley figs. Stanleries. Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Okay. All right. Um, I can try this elevator again, but it didn't go anywhere last time. Oh my god, that was a waste of time. All right. Um. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Why? Not a living soul oh, yeah. anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural wretching of life from a man denied any I'm hope, fine. any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. 2845. Statistically, nearly impossible to guess blindly ever. Oh, I can get up here. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was... I'm going to try not messing with it and see what happens. Forgot... But it turns out that the panel's emergency okay. override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> well, what did it? Listen. All right. Yay! Another figurine. Back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanleyreens and Figleys. Figleys. 
What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness? I like figlies. You get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Oh, okay. Um, let's go back to that room with all the numbers on the walls and see what happens. Like the little number buttons. I couldn't find number four. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. All right. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. I've already seen this. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? All right. Now the monitors jumped to life. Yeah, I already seen this. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. All right. Skip this. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control yep. all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? All right. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Man, that would suck. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking. So that's where I came from. All of it monitored and commanded from this There's place. Three. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For oh, there's fours up there. The controls once and for all. Once and for all. Sorry. All right. Well, if anyone knows what to do, let me know. I wonder what happens if I press on. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yes. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that uh -oh. what you want? Control? <laughs> oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Oh, uh, yeah. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. Now what? Uh... If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. What? Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In okay. the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire... Oh, world. shit. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two months. Ah, now oh. It's a little more fun, <laughs> isn't it, it's your time to shine. You are okay. Star. It's your story now. Okay, and now I think I do the desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Um, but what precious moments. 3 is over here. Where's that? More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. 
what all this means. I barely know Four. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? Yeah. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right. Four. Good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Okay. I erased them. I turned off the machine. Oh, you free. why me? Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons <laughs> endlessly and then die. Oh, God, it didn't work. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Um, Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you gets quite rich. I almost hate to I just see it. once. I don't know what to do. I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the For what? Line. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Now what do I do? Dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing? Right yes. Now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Running from button to button. Listen, to screen, <laughs> don't call me out like that. Every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these Three. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One, three. Or... Do you have uh, any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> oh, God. Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. Uh -huh. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Damn. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you. I don't know what to do. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's fine. Oh. I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Damn. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds. <laughs> oh no. Well, I tried. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Uh, can I go down here? Oh, damn. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Oh, and shit. Me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we... <laughs> until the moment well, I tried, you guys. Ooh. I wonder if it is possible to successfully... Disable the explosion. From then on, he would never be alone ever again. I don't remember that text. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Uh -huh. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Oh, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Him, telling him that the Let's try going to the red door. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Back no, in here. said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the... Good, said the bucket. Ooh. Now ride the lift. I'm going to go down to there the next time. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have been to the top? because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Well. Alright. No, stop. Look there on the wall. It's Where? There's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Oh, shit. How could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless um, one of the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't. Well, now what do I do? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. <laughs> if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences oh? on the entire rest of the game. Like what? Quickly and properly. 
So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't. I think I know where it is. Oh. Step in here for a moment. Oh my god. Don't patronize me. I run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. So I'm gonna answer them all wrong. Bishop, tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Uh huh. Okay, let's begin. Oh, okay. Is this a bucket? You know what? I'm gonna prove I'm wrong. I do know what a bucket is. It is a hologram of a bucket, uh, not an actual bucket. Listen. Uh, damn, he's always one step ahead of me. Item two. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. It's still a bucket. <laughs> Item three. Is this a bucket? Correct. Okay. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? I, Are you <laughs> I was. I thought you were gonna make it like. I don't know. Make it a bucket. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next one. All right. Is this a bucket? No. I hate you. This is a bucket. <laughs> Yo, I feel like an idiot right now. Item six. Is this a bucket? Yes, you whore. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. God. Item Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. All right, I'm done with this. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. Whatever. For nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? It is in this game. Stanley, do you believe that nothing is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. Listen. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. Well, it's your now fault. Sort of you Maybe made it more confusing. Danny, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. Uh huh. I don't have that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets. What? Okay, here we go. Damn. What happened? Is everything gone? Why oh, everything, everything is a bucket. <laughs> You played yourself. I have no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. Uh -huh. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I okay. actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. Right. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, Okay. Okay. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Mm. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here yeah. we go. Are these on backwards? No, I guess not. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. 
Um. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. Let's go left. Alright. So, stairs. And a large room, lots of boxes. What we know. All right, who's making these powerpoints? Let's try going. Coming to a staircase, Stanley oh. and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I'm not going through that loop again. Hell no. All right. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional... But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Uh-huh. Was the bucket guiding him? Where did it go? Okay. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Um... I want to go back to the uh, detonating and see if I can figure out a way to solve it. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. Mm. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this... Wait, we just place, went past... He would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Oh, I guess not. Everything will be fine. All right. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We can do that later. Let's see what happens. The passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Right. All right. Is there anything I can do? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley yeah. reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Right. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket in Listen. Farewell, Stanley. All right. Are you going to stop again? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket went <laughs> helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Uh -huh. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. Okay. All right, we're going here. Oh, this takes me to the museum, doesn't it? It was a shame. The death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. <laughs> the bucket. Uh... Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this? And to claim it for his own. Listen. Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his I mean, shape? whatever you say. Inferno bucket. All right. <laughs> the caveman bucket. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. Uh -huh. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The hanging bucket. 
Um, what did I do? But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. What? Let's stand down. Let him be crushed by the machine. What? Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stan die together. The bucket shall take. I wonder if that's what I'm supposed to do. Because the first time I did it, I turned off my switch and it didn't work. So maybe we fixed it. Or not. The meeting room. Yes, that's where Ugh, whatever. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room and from then on. Give me my damn backup. Spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Um Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his This was not Let's go. But Stanley I wonder if I can go down to that area. The employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was it no? Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Bam. No, bam. Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go. Good. Said. The but Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket. <laughs> well. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply it touched him. <laughs> now we know what happens if you do that. Room. Go right. somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how. Oh wait, there's an achievement over here. It should have alarmed him, of course, because I wonder where it is. Talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had not an achievement, um, a collectible. He did whatever the bucket asked. All right. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. I wonder where that thing is. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. All right. I'm going to pick it up this time, and we'll not pick it up the next time. Because I want to see what happens if you pick it up with the bucket. This is the sad story of a man named oh. Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. <laughs> Wait. Is there a bucket? Oh, here it is. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? Mm -hmm. To see him delusional like this, <laughs> obsessing over an inanimate metal object. Listen. I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can take it. <laughs> I don't know if he'll listen to me. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? <coughs> listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's, but that's it. what makes it, it so great. Do anything else. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Mm -hmm. he now you're getting jealous. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket, his stupid hunk of metal. sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. 
No. Come on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. You're right. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Uh -huh. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. <laughs> Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm having feelings. No, uh, no, 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 not in the bedroom. <laughs> Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Ew. If I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. Why does this remind me of Homestuck me a little bit? I mean, if you know, you know. Stanley, give me the bucket. Oh, give it to uh -uh. Me. Give me the bucket. This is my bucket. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... Huh. Okay. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the and so let's go down the here through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the exit door. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. Uh huh. Oh. You see, what is this? And I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here to take care about you very much. <laughs> it's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. Listen! Even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. <laughs> they want more of their favorite games. Oh my god. Bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? No. We can make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Okay. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where <laughs> it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Uh-huh. This damn medieval type of music. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all the uh, great jokes from the old Damn it, not dialogue? back to here. To drugs and hookers. <laughs> I didn't get there yet. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do all right. that, you're going to have to give something up. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. No. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. Okay. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Oh. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character. With so that much is a giant that machine. Me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need um, to spell it out for you. Nothing. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. I wonder if I can go somewhere. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. I'm that not giving it. Singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded <laughs> with complexity and nuance that it's uh -huh. really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? Whatever. It certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. 
Okay, the bucket destroyer is uh -oh. getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and I'm not giving it we shit. Can't give back to the Kazakh Stanley Parable characters like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. No. Now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and crush. Ooh. <laughs> Where in the hell? The bucket destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spell-binding stories about you <laughs> and all of its squadnut now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Ugh, whatever. Good Britain's a bucket destroyer. Stanley decided that this machinery would, but at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the <laughs> button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Huh. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? <laughs> Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Okay. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. Um, the control buttons became active again. Oh, okay. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was Is a it facility a... for monitoring and surveilling silly okay. birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade. To disguise its true intention. All right. Had the bucket known this all along? Oh, the ducky. Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, living through life well, streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of I mean, all of the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was yeah. surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Okay. Good. Stanley All right. walked through the red door. All right. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? Mm -hmm. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Right. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? Hmm. I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. What's that? Here, let me show you. For? Hmm? Oh, here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? If Where is just this? Stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley. I think I feel happy. Okay. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Can we go in here? No, wait. Where are you going? All right. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. I wonder if there's an achievement over here. Please, no, Stanley. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Can I go back down? Um, oh, I think I know where it is. Okay, I guess I have to die. All right. Please, Stanley. Th no! Oh, thank God. You lived. 
All right. You have me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? This one. There. See? <laughs> this is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. All right, this is boring. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. We're doing it again. No, 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 what do you do? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? <laughs> my God, is this really how much you dislike my game? It's the only way You'll forward. You yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Listen. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. He sounds so sad. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Uh-huh. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going back. Yep. I think this is where I'm going to end this game. I think I did a majority, if not all, the little possibilities. But, um, you know, maybe I'll explore some more on my own time. But, yeah, I have to go cook and do homework because I'm still in school. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll be back with a new game very soon. I don't know what yet, but, you know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Bye.